Hello and welcome to Adrian McMaster Gaming. In this video today I will show you how to do a copy of your 5M server using TX Admin. Now, somebody was asking me this in a question. So the simplest thing to do is you go to your directory area or folder area where your files are. Now remember with Zap hosting it will be different because they have a different system like if it's a gaming like a server you won't be able to do this. If you've got a, a dedicated server or a VPS with maybe Zap hosting or another hosted server you can do this in the same way but it must be a Windows server, a Linux will be a bit more tricky to do because you've got to use all the commands so with windows server it's straightforward so i'll show you this now you can see on my screen the area where the files are so keep your core demo so the next you'll go into your artifacts Then what you do, link for the pink icon, which is called an FX server EX. When you found that, you can either right click, click open, or double click on the icon, click open, and then you'll see a console up here on your desktop. It might prompt you for the port to open, but it won't do that for me as I already have a port open for that and which I already have port 4012 open, port 4013 and 4 are open. Right, so I have those they're also open on the router. So when that has happened and they're all set, you'll then get a prompt on your browser. And then you'll need to click on the link account. Click continue. Enter the password. Which is one you need to set up yourself. Check, click on the tick box for uh, agree to terms and conditions then you click create the master account then you click next give the server a name so that can be identified on the console then you click next now you have the four options the one you require is the existing server you don't want popular recipes so what you'd want to do is Right, uh, for existing server, say you've already got one set, but you might not have. So I'll show you what to do first, which is important. What you want to do is go to your directory area. Okay, create another folder for your uh, the copy of the server and name that as a name you know what it is. So I've got development and demo server, so I've got the demo development is in the development then you want your demo server so i've got that then you create your like your cubicle whatever name it is which i've done then you want your artifacts which is where you put all those 5m artifacts then you want your cfx server data then you'll need the resources for where you well the simplest thing to do if you don't want a resource for is just copy everything from your server, which is like the cubicle demo or wherever everything is, you just copy all that and create and just paste the folder. Then you'll see whichever name it is, copy, just change that to a name of your choice. Then you've got your copy of that folder. So, what you do then is important is you click on existing server data, click next. Then you need the path of where that data is. So I'm going to bring back the directory. So what you need is to go. You've got CFX server data. Then I want resources, which is what that is on mine. Then you click on the address bar. So it highlights the address. Then right click on the address bar. And you're going to click copy. When you've done that, paste the address in the empty area. And it'll show CFX server data, which is showing you the example so with the couch then we're going to click next 
then it's going to ask you the same again for the address bar for where your service CFG is. So I bring that folder back up, and there's my service CFG. So it's going to use the copy of that. What you'll need to make sure of with your service CFG is you have a second license key from your CFG account. So you cannot use the same one, or if you are, make sure you haven't got both servers running at the same time because you can't run both one or the other so what i'll do minimize that and then i'm going to click save as it's done that for me and then i'm going to click finish then we're going to click save and start server and i can see exactly what i'm seeing on the right side what i'm seeing on the console so what am i seeing it's a radio lou no such radio now the reason that is happening is i see it in red above one sync now even though what one sync might be set to on on my server cfg it may have automatically disabled that so the best thing to do go to settings on your tx admin look for fx server if you want then look for one sync just check any of those so i'm going to use on with infinity even though it won't use infinity then you click save there you do then what we're going to do is go back to live console i'll clear that and then we're going to click restart Running. so also check the port which you'll notice it's port 40120 on my address bar so that needs to be changed it'll still be uh 30120 on the cfg uh, 30 i mean on the on my CFG but it might be too old on yours so you'll need to change that and set another port on your firewall to make sure that's done so you've got there it is the port so all you need to do is close down the console and show you what to do for this on my browser I have the TX admin github open so you see an example at the bottom for the Windows and Linux so what you need to do let's copy set tx admin port so i'm going to open file area which is already open so the one you want to go to and i'll show you this there's a file called start bat default bat now i have a shortcut to that and i'll show you on my desktop there it is i have a default bat there in pink that's the same one but when i try to click that it will funny enough it's actually worked the start strange that but the port which i think is wrong let me double check this yep so i need to change the port so what i've got to do is right click on that file or double click use your file editor which is either visual studio or notepad so i'm going to use the visual studio which i always use so in right so in there i can see set server profile default so that will use 30120 but the port i want minimize you the way so the port i want what, what i require is that set port there it is tx admin port they're both the same type of like coding just copy and paste that in or type it in set tx admin port so that's the instruction to set the port next you want to take off that default with the uh, colons so what you do you type in your port so the, i'm going to type in 401 40 oh, because i have 40130 which is used for my development one 40120 oh, is the main one which isn't running so i've set that and it's all an automatic save you can turn that auto save off if you wish but i've got an automatic so that's done for me i'm then going to close this editor and also the browser window then i'm going to restart server like so and then i'm going to kick that in which is demo server and i should see i'm just pretty sure i've just seen 4130 let me check this e 40 should i say so i should now see that on my browser so I have three. I've got my main see the main one which won't be nothing there because there's no server. I've got my demo uh, 
development saver and then I've got the demo and there it is that's your demo saver and that's all you need to do quite simple as that so if you do have any problems set up just drop me a comment and I will respond or you've got my discord which you can join for, for a limited like support you just get answers to questions and that's about it any other help for like no helping with scripts or maybe it's set up a server you will have to pay for that so please remember that I also have a gilded saver which isn't quite set up but you can check the website for more about me and my computer that I use so that's all you've got to do and I'll say from this point onwards if you have liked what you've seen click like if you want to see more from me click subscribe and don't forget for the future videos which will be turning up there will be edited videos so you'll see after video the rest will be for the patrons only like early viewing and you know, previewing of them and everything else so that's how they're going to be done soon so i bid you all well and see you all soon